Hi, it's Lucy. This is a warm up taken from one of my online core fit classes. You can use this routine to get your body ready for exercise or as a short workout for your arms, legs, and core. You can download this video and others for free or take a class live or recorded at powhow.com backslash videos backslash Lucy's dash studio. As always, talk with your doctor before beginning an exercise program, and for some people, these exercises may not be appropriate. Start Tadasana, shoulder blades down, belly button back, ribs back, tailbone relaxed down, back of the legs pushing into the front of the legs. Top of the patella, the inner quadricep squeezes back, Weight is over the arches. Let's take a deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, float down. Inhale, upper back arch, shoulder blades into the back. Rest bone up, keep the weight on the arches. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, upper back arch. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, upper back arch. Exhale, drop down. And now let's walk forward. Walk forward into your down dog. So if you need a placement there, walk forward into your plank. Hands under the shoulders or just a little below. And then push back. See if you can get your plank to go into your down dog that way. Stretch those hamstrings, squeeze the tops of the knees. See how straight you can get it this first time. And now with an exhale, step your right foot in between your hands as far as you can. And if you can't get it right there, scoot it forward. And now come up wherever your hands want to be, at the sides, on your hips, overhead, wherever you have that balance. And then let's stretch. So let's take the back leg, make sure your feet are both pointed forward, and then try to straighten out that back leg a little more, a little more, a little more, by pushing the heel down, pushing the knee back, and then sink down further into that front leg. Lift the chest, inhale, exhale, hands down, back into a plank. Back into a down dog. Push through the lats. Push into the floor with the feet and the hands. All five fingers with that, with both hands. Look in between your hands. Step the left leg forward into that nice runner's lunge. Position your feet nice and solidly. Pull your belly in. And wherever you want to put your hands, on your hips, to the sides, above your head, and then push the heel toward the floor. Sink down a little more. Bring your breastbone up a little more. Make sure you're not pushing into your lower back. Drop that tailbone. And then come on back down. Let's do it again. Warming up here. Go into the plank. Go into the down dog. Push up with those shoulders. Pull down the shoulder blades. Get a little more flexible there in your legs. Try to straighten out those knees a little more. You can do a few bends and straightens here. Look up in between your hands. Push into all fingers and then break that right leg forward. From the belly, pull back, come up. Straighten out that back leg a little more. Push the knee to the sky. Look up, breastbone up, tailbone down. I know, it really looks like I'm marching here, doesn't it? But it's coming from here. It's coming from the upper back. The lower back is just kind of hanging out. Exhale, hands down at the sides of the foot. Take the foot back, plank, and down dog. Push into the floor. I'm emphasizing all five fingers into the floor because that's how we get it off those wrists. And then left foot forward. And then come up. Straighten out that leg. 
push that heel in, sink down a little bit more. Squeeze your inner thighs now. Feel how that intensifies your balance. Plank. Down dog. Now let's go through the vinyasa. So come into your down dog. Pull, pull, pull your body forward. And then if you're on your tippy toes, go onto the tiptoes or go down onto your knees. Either way, elbows in. Lower slowly, untuck the toes, cobra, chest opens, inhale, exhale, lower. And you can either do a little snake up to the knees, and then the toes, and down dog, or you can push right up into your plank, and go back to the down dog. So let's do it again, pull through, onto the knees or the toes, lower slowly, belly up, Cobra, and then either stay through or push up and back. <sighs> Belly in here one more time, forward, forward it up, lower, upper back arch, squeeze those elbows together, down dog. All five fingers pushing into the floor. Take some of the weight off the wrist. Look in between your hands. Here we go again. Right foot forward, but we're changing it up a little bit. Straighten out that back leg. Pull your body back with your abs. Now, I want you to dig that front foot into the floor. Put your weight on your heel and the balls of your toes, so right over your front arch, and then pull forward from the back of your leg. Take a breath, step back with an exhale, inhale in place, exhale to move. If you want to add work, arms overhead. So this is number four. This is number five. Six, let's do eight. Come on, reach back there. How far back can you put that foot? and eight. Let's take it back. Let's go back down with the hands. Let's step back into that plank. Let's go into that down dog. <sighs> Try to make your down dog as comfortable as you can. Let your head fall. Push your hips back. Pull your belly in. Now look in between your hands, left foot forward. Come on up. Shoulder blades down. <sighs> Hands on hips or overhead. When you're ready, push into the front foot. Squeeze from the back of the front leg to come forward. Control with that front leg. <sighs> We're on number four. Step back as far as you can. Squeeze from the back of the front leg. Two more. One. Two. And back we go. Hands to the floor. Step back. And let's do that vinyasa. So forward. Lower slowly. Upper back arch. Elbows squeezing towards each other. Lower down. And then snake up or push up. And push back. Ah. <sighs> Bend those knees and either walk forward to the feet in between the hands or hop. Weight on your arches. Over those arches, drop down. Inhale, look up, shoulder blades together. Give me an upper back arch here. Exhale down.